as we become quiet, the Lord begins to break us to pieces. It requires quietness to attain a clear vision. As we see God clearly and view Jesus Christ in his beauty, we begin to see why we should be broken, why we ought to be purged, cleansed, and filled with the Holy Spirit. This experience of brokenness is but a part of the beginning of divine surgery. No minister or layman can serve victoriously in the church until he is broken and subdued. Oh, he can be laboring and like the disciples return to their earthly interests, toil all night and catch nothing. He can work and work but there will be no divine joy or heavenly victory. Most persons will not wait upon God. They proceed with their own plans, arrange their own lives, and later say, I don't understand why we're having such a difficult, disappointing time. And often, if we are not willing to wait, God leads us to the waiting by severe experiences. If we do not wait on God, we will be stopped somehow. The gears of circumstances will grind us to pieces. If we are not willing to wait on him and let him have his way, there will be something that will halt, halt spiritual progress. It is preferable to wait in the beginning until all is set in order so that we can move in the right direction. Otherwise, we will miss God's objectives.